just heard like a massive banging sound under the propeller. Some it's stuck. Some it's stuck. Today, our friends Tom and Alice are coming back to visit and as it's nice and sunny, we're going to take them on a bit of a cruise. So we're going back to the really nice spot where we moored up in, having a picnic and then coming back to the nice spot where we were last week. We met up with them on the towpath, hopped aboard, Sully and Rufus became best friends and we were off. If you're leaving, that's fine Don't forget your pride Cause I'm just trying To break this cycle about half 11 at night and our friends Tom and Alice have just gone home. We've had a lovely day having a, our first summer picnic of the year which was amazing and then we've just sort of been chilling back at the boat and yeah it's been a lovely day. So lovely. And now we're knackered um, but I don't think we've got anything on tomorrow so we can just use the day to recuperate. Recuperate and chill. Chill. It was a good day. Today is bank holiday Monday and Wes is off work so we aren't really going anywhere, the weather's not too nice so we're doing some DIY. We are going to paint the ceiling in the bedroom because this is really messy and we're also going to paint this wall here. We're going to go all white and we can always go over the top of it anyway um, but we're going to see how it looks so ceiling and wall we've already took the mattress off and we've saved the old curtains in this box these are our holes that we did so there is so well, there's a bit of airflow in there rufus is chilling on the stern out the way mattress is there all systems go step one sand everywhere Primer and sealer and stain killer. So I'm going to put that all over. What's going on here? <laughs> so because Wes pried the lid off so aggressively last time, 
The lid wasn't on properly and the paint smells bad. Amy has no proof that I ever did such a thing. Roll VT. You just almond. Oh. <laughs> I thought by now we'd we'd have this down. Who knew paint could go off? primer coat is on and yes i know you're supposed to do it like really clean but because it's such a big surface area this is the best we're gonna get and we did that in there and it was all right time to add the normal layer of paint it's done probably do with a little touch up as could all of the boat but it's pretty good we've done this whole wall the ceiling throughout and the best thing is that it now goes all the way through and there's none of this awkward end whip bit still obviously going to do another coat it looks so good and then now we just need to decide what accent color or if anything we're going to do here and the bathroom in those walls Shh. that's another time just trying to tidy up we put some of the stuff in the bathroom that was in the way of the bedroom and it would seem that the stuff has has become sentient it's barricaded itself in the boat must have gone past fast i can't i can't get into the bathroom <laughs> it's the stuff has locked me out genuinely can't get in can't feel anything either this is my camera in selfie mode because I genuinely have no other way of seeing what's going on. I think the guitar has fallen over and become a perfect barricade to keep oh, the door shut. Oh my god. Move. We're locked out of our own bathroom. you got to be really careful because the window's also in there and if that breaks... Why did you put the window in there? I purposely put the window in there so we could keep an eye on it when boats went past. Well, one of the windows is in there. Oh my god. No, literally careful, careful, the guitar careful. is so wedged. You're gonna have to go out around the outside. <sighs> if you're watching from stream, this is the kind of shenanigans that happens. <laughs> Genuinely, I was sat down, ready to press go live. Try to open the door. It is, I am. It's just fully, look, it can't go back any further. It's just wedged. I don't know what to do. Here's boat time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Guide me. Right, put it down onto the floor. Now push it towards me. Backward. No, no, slow, like forward again. Literally, yeah, tiny movements at a time. And now forward. Or oh, keep going. Now lift. Yeah. It's heavy. The stick's gonna break. Go, yeah, oh, you should be able to open it more now. No, my arm's in the way now. My arm's trapped between the door and the toilet. <laughs> Oh, is, that, is this good? Yeah, the guitar's out of the way. It's hurting. Oh, go, go, go. Hey there. This is a joke. Just going into the bathroom. <laughs> oh, we did it. <laughs> Wait. Where's the window? I don't know. Oh, Ooh, it's got things leaning on it. I think it's fine, though. Yeah, the window's fine. Cool, thank you. on our way to do a slightly smaller weekly shop and Amy reckons that she's found a shortcut. Apparently the... in a cow's field. There's <laughs> literally just cows everywhere. They're currently all on that side because I think it's feeding time soon. But on the way back we're potentially trudging through with bags full of food so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we found an Aldi and it's closer and cheaper so Aldi it is. <laughs> Looks like the farmers just set fire to the logs right outside the boat. 
Can we have some in there? <laughs> I know, he could have just offered it to boaters. It's absolutely freezing in here because we've had to leave the windows open. Time to peel them. I start with the window so we can shut it. <laughs> Ignore that. For God's sake, there's always one. So we were a bit unsure as to whether the paint was off and apparently if it's off, it flakes. We have spotted a couple of very small flaky bits. I'm really hoping that it's just like ever so slightly off and that's all and it's not all going to flake off now. We're going to wake up in the morning and it's just going to be flaking. I really hope it isn't and it's just like a couple of bits and then we'll buy a new tin of paint, like a small one at some point and just touch it up. Oh. Time for the reveal, including the slightly, hopefully not peeling that much bits. Hooray! Feels bigger, doesn't it? Before... It feels so much bigger. Yeah. Literally like... Twice as big. Yeah, we just need to decide what colour to do these. I like it. Happy? I like the wood, you know. Yeah. I do think I want to keep some of the wood. It's just nice, like not having a really messy ceiling anymore. And it, it just feels a little bit more done, assuming that it doesn't all flake off overnight. We've been painting these walls over a series of about a year. <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice to have uh, another big chunk done. The first fuel boat we've seen literally since Rougely. Yeah. <laughs> it's the weekend and it's a lovely day. So we are on the move. We've been taking it really slow. We've spent like two weeks in this spot. And we've actually realized that we've only got three weeks to make it to Crick. And it's actually a lot further than we thought. So today we are going into Pillins Lock Marina do the facilities and then we've got to shoot off and we're maybe going to try and head to Leicester today or like as far as we can get towards Leicester. Navigating new marinas is always so hard because you never know where the visitor spots are. I think there's a sign hidden right behind this tree. Oh yeah, visitor moorings down here. Just all of these ones down here. Down here I think. The water point is at the back and the pontoons are really short. So, straight through the boat with the hose pipe. So we're at Pillings Lock Marina and the pontoons here are super short and we need some gas. We've reversed the boat in. So the gas lock is right at the front. So Wes is gonna go out, get the gas bottle out, pass it to me through the cratch. And then Wes is going to come back round and carry it through the boat. It's empty, so it should be fine, but... I should have driven it in, but it was just forced to have it to reverse in and then drive out. <sighs> Careful. Easy. Good. Test the imbalance. You got it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These are our friends, Sarah and Ian, and they are renovating their old trip boat, St. Clair. And it's amazing. We'll put their Instagram here. Check them out. Why is this concentrating on the maneuver? <laughs> yeah, it's really windy and there's a lot of lovely boats and they want to crash in. <laughs> Smashed it though. It's the best we can do. And we're off, new sights again. We've just been panicked. It says navigation open. This says when red light flashes, navigation closed. And then we just saw a big red light and we panicked. This light was, is on and it just scares me. I'd rather there just be no light. We're going on to the River Saw now. Wes is a little bit on edge, but we're trying to take in the sights. It's beautiful. Very aware of the height of the boat, the amount of kind of wake, the speed of the current. Very pretty, but I'm just having a 
having a bit of an on edge day. This for a private moor and so cool with the railway bridge. Just been through Barrow Deep Lock. We had some lovely volunteers helping us through, which was amazing. Our first of the year, so thank you. She said it's. She recommends staying in Leicester. We've had a couple of people say like, oh, don't go through Leicester. Kids on locks again and things getting stuck around your propeller, but we're gonna give it a go. And I just feel like there's always, there's always a lot of hearsay and oh, don't do that. And it's, from our experience, it's never been as bad as it been made out. Made out. Unpowered craft frenzy. There's some canoers, some pedalos, it's all going off. There's a narrow boat. I just can't get over how lovely this stretch of the saw is. It's so nice. There's cows in the field, there's loads of really nice houses. It's just so nice to see. She's got to do to get by. <laughs> hey, mate. <laughs> the fuzziest little things. Oh my goodness, they're so precious. Both been pretty exhausted today, which just means our tolerance has been tiny. And I think the stress from all the horror stories that we've been hearing has just been getting us down a bit. We're just a bit knackered. We'll just walk into a co-op to get something for dinner. And then we're gonna relax, recuperate. It's so hard when you hold all these horror stories all the time. To not be hyper aware and like stress. I don't think everything, yeah. Well, yeah, we're fine. We tried to be good on everyone. We tried. Not, sure. Not our fault. Look. Look what's right across the road. With a heavenly glow around it. Got the goods. The medicine. <laughs> so now Wes has been to the knees. My ankle's been it. <laughs> Together we are like 
an eighth of a boater. Yeah, an eighth of a boater. Just outside a little town called Burstall. Seems really nice. Nice and kind of relaxed and seems pretty friendly. And we are five miles away from Leicester, which is weird. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and we are on the move. We really wanted to set off early to get through Leicester early because we were so nervous about it. What are the chances one of our lovely subscribers, Gaz, was coming up the lock behind us? So I went, I was like, there's another boat. Maybe we can go through quick. with them, quick. So we're gonna go up all of the locks through Leicester with Gaz. It's his first time and our first time. And all of the locks are double, so that'll make it so much easier. I think we're officially in our first like big city centre. This is it's weird. <laughs> Kinda cool though. So far so good. It's really interesting being amongst such tall industrial buildings. There's a little bit of rubbish in the canal, but it's all right at the moment. We're still kind of on the outskirts. banging sound under the propeller. Something stuck. Something stuck. Something stuck. What have we got? There it is. Looks pretty big, whatever it is. It's like a jacket or something. Oh, it's a jacket, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a parka. Waterproof parka. <laughs> there because there's only six and that's the only spot really you can moor so if there's not a spot we're going to keep going but if there is we're saying bye to Gaz here so we're just going past we believe the new spot it's got water and shoreline and it's behind a secure gate so this looks like a really good spot. We'll put the location here. And we're coming up to Castle Gardens now and already people are waving at us. So we feel like if there is a spot at Castle Gardens, we're definitely gonna stay. So there is a spot at Castle Gardens. So we're gonna moor here and see what Leicester's got to offer. We're quite excited. 
Um, and it's a two day mooring spot, so Wes is gonna book Tuesday off work if he can, so we can leave in the day. I'm really sorry, guys, that we couldn't do all the rest of the locks with you, but I hope you got through all right. Just taking Rufus out. This is literally, the moorings are just here, and this, this is a lovely garden. Amy, why is the lead pointing upwards? Huh? Why is the lead pointing up? What are you doing up there? <laughs> Careful. Careful. Oh my. Well, that was a bit of a slam, wasn't it? You misjudged that, didn't you? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you tune in next week to see how we got on in the busy city centre. Great big thank you to this week's chip supporters, Becky Rupp, Paul and Laura and Lois Davidson. For more Boat Time content, be sure to check out our socials at Boat Time UK.